What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires, and as we sometimes joke about the name of the channel, Spider-Man Always, which it definitely, definitely was this week. Sony very publicly gearing up to drop their Spider-Man No Way Home trailer and this most recent interview with the Sony Motion Pictures president talking about a clear plan to merge the Spider-Verse between Sony and the MCU. Now we have a ton of leaked details about Act 1 tying together Peter Parker, Tom Holland's iteration, Doctor Strange, this multiversal Sinister Six, and what's going on between them that ties them together. We're going to break down where this leak's coming from, the track record, why you can believe it, of course issue the normal spoiler warning, then break down the leak in full and speculate just a little bit as to one common thread I don't think people have pointed out too much about all of these characters. We're going to break down everything in this major spoiler for Act 1 for Spider-Man No Way Home. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live. And when Loki goes live in just over a week, we have an amazing giveaway to add to the prize pool then. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So of course, first up, as is customary at the channel for this kind of video, the normal spoiler warning, if this is in any way going to ruin Spider-Man No Way Home, the future of the MCU and or Sony Spider-Verse, MCU Marvel Phase 4, anything inherent in this, only you know if you're susceptible to this kind of thing, you might want to back out now. As it pertains to these leaks, I always tell you guys, take everything that doesn't come directly from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt. But in today's case, this is coming from not only a scooper with a record, but corroborating something else that was scooped a little while ago by a separate Spider-Man leaker with a record. It's not just an anonymous 4chan plot leak. Again, that being said, back out if this is in any way going to ruin the future film for you, and let's dive into this leak now. This is coming from at viewer Anon, corroborating a leak that came from Spidey Forever, someone we've covered here at the channel who has a track record of being correct with certain details. This is what they had to say about the first act of the film. Quote, the Sinister Six are all from other universes and remember dying, specifically dying at the hands of Spider-Man. This causes great guilt in Tom Holland's Peter Parker, and he ends up doing something stupid against Doctor Strange's orders. Now, there's actually a ton to break down in there, even though it was short, and we're going to get to my own speculation because there's one detail not being pointed out anywhere on the internet. I have my own theory about this, but let's start with this reference to the Sinister Six. Yes, there are six villains, one of which should be Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe's original iteration, which has been sort of rumored to be the main villain in this film, and if he were to sort of put together all these villains, then that would mirror him putting together the Sinister Six. However, other industry insiders along the way have said that this isn't a truly accurate Sinister Six, and that seems like something that Sony is doing themselves, setting up Venom, Carnage, Morbius, now Kraven, who knows who else they'll add to the party. That being said, six returning villains have nothing to do with the villains we already have in the MCU and some very common Sinister Six members like Adrian Toomes Vulture, Scorpion, even Mysterio. So as I see all of these pseudo fan-made Sinister Six rosters getting circulated on Instagram that have Adrian Toomes Vulture from the Spidey MCU Homecoming film alongside Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin Norman Osborn, that's just not correct. As far as we know from all the information, this film is going to focus on only those old villains returning from the Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. But how is their death and or defeat at the hands of those Spider-Men somehow going to cause guilt in Tom Holland's Peter Parker? And I think we can start to unravel that web pun totally intended. It was just started to be enumerated during Far From Home when Aunt May was calling it the spider tingle. We saw it a little bit with Peter Parker's arm hair raising up in Infinity War when the ship landed. Not as much in Homecoming. This is Spider-Man's spider sense and as it was explained by Sony's animated film Into the Spider-Verse, it's that spider sense that connects all Spider-Men across the multiverse. Add in WandaVision and whatever she did to the multiverse and whatever Loki did in breaking the timeline when he took the Tesseract, that came the door wide open possibly to all of this empathy now there were a lot of theories that said he was going to reach out to Doctor Strange the same way he did in the comics to get him to erase everybody's memory of who he is now that his identity was revealed by John Jonah Jameson at the end of Far From Home 
Could it be that that memory wiping or something to do with his memory is what links him to these villains? As was said in that viewer Anon tweet, it's these villains' memories of the loss at the hands of Spider-Man. Same way that Peter Parker wants Doctor Strange to mess with everybody on Earth's memories of him being Spider-Man. There has got to be a link here with memory. And I'm guessing that Doctor Strange tells Peter Parker that there's too many variables, that's too dangerous, not something that he should do, it could cause things to get worse. And while his character arc, granted, has seen him grow a lot during the Infinity Saga, he's still just a kid, and if it's the same old Peter Parker we saw during the Infinity Saga and say Infinity War, when Tony told him to go home, while well, we know he's just going to do what he wants to do sometimes. It seems like memory is the main thread that's going to tie him to these other villains, and that the multiverse is going to be the connect point, but it's important to mention that other industry insiders have definitely said that this whole reveal of his identity by John Jonah Jameson is not going to be as big a deal as some of us thought and in fact will get wrapped up rather quickly again in the first act not be this huge plot point he's just gonna have to live with people knowing that he's spider-man and that's what really makes me think it has a lot more to do with his spider sense and whatever's going on with the multiverse than asking dr strange to simply wipe everybody's memory one final thought i'll leave you with i had conjectured before in the past that maybe no way home had something to do with where tom holland ends up over in sony spider-verse and can't get back to the MCU. We've heard from a couple of sources in the last week or two, it's the other way around. All of these villains that are coming from other multiverses end up in the MCU with quote unquote, no way home, no way to get back. So I was kind of right, just missing the point on which character it circled around. Either way guys, we can suspect that a trailer is coming very soon. And while I was recording this video, I started to see some tweets, I guess something about Marvel saying there's big news next week. Either way, I wasn't able to confirm that from their Twitter while I was finishing this video. So. I'll dig into that and let you guys know later with a separate update. Let me know all your thoughts down below and your reactions to this. What do you think is going to be the common thread and how do you think these villains cross over? I'm still all ears and how Peter Parker would feel the empathy of those other villains, but spider sense may be the key. Let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live and we're giving away a brand new giveaway when Loki goes live in just a week and man that prize is awesome. If you want to be entered to win all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber then leave a comment down below because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content is to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. You can also find my original music on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, wherever you listen to music under the name All Fires. Thanks so much for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.